Right, it's that time of the show to find out whether we're facing uh, food heaven or food hell. Food heaven, of course, is lobster. It's lobster. I mean, it's just it's just gorgeous, isn't it? Lobster. Well, it is. When yeah. it's cooked. Yeah, when it's <laughs> cooked, like there you go. Alternatively, a lob. Chefs would say this is gorgeous too. Fresh fish, oh, lovely sardines, yeah, little potato yeah. cake. Look at that. It's cooking away nicely on our little hob there. Yeah. Chefs love. Now, chefs it? love mm. sardines. Delicious. I've seen the point. What do you think these lobs chosen? <laughs> It's going to be the lobster. Come on, boys. Ah, Come on. Easily, easily, easily. There you go. So that's what you're getting. So we lose the sardines uh, and we've got our lobster over here. So first of all, Francesco, if you can then prepare me the lobster. Now, of course I will. This has been... It's great in its ethos of the lobster because it's got a like, nice little line and that's where you need to cut it. OK. Straight down the middle. So if you're going to present it. Whatever you, you tell me, I'm learning present everything. The shell, we'll cut it that way, straight through, <laughs> and then take the meat out and back in the shell. The we can use <laughs> I'm going to some pad thai as well. You okay. can tell us what pad yes. thai is and, and uh, all that sort of stuff. Meanwhile, well, I'm going to prepare my uh, little red curry sauce. So off you go. Well, pad thai is can basically... I just pretend the, I'm doing You can pretend, yeah. yeah. famous thai uh, noodle dish. It must be one of your favourites, is it? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, the lobster curry um, is her favourite. That's why I'm all cooking of it. it. It's, uh, all of it. It's made with these lovely rice vermicelli, you know, mm -hmm. so this is great for people that can't eat gluten. Yeah. Um, and then it's got lots of aromatics, ginger, shallots, garlic, chilies. And then there's a kind of a sauce made with a little bit of tamarind, um, a little bit of sugar. Uh, soy and sauce, it takes seven minutes sauce. to cook, so move it. <laughs> I don't like the way you're bossing me around help, this. I'm useless. <laughs> right, here. Here. Kitchen. Go on. Kelly, what about that guy from the armed forces? I oh, know, was <laughs> he like? Yeah. Was, yeah oh, you're an right. inspiration. Oh. I was in the army, but you're going to ask sardines. <laughs> Oh, no. That was hilarious. <laughs> I'm making my little pasty. We've got shallots, we've got some uh, garlic, <coughs> uh, some ginger gone in there, lemongrass as well, which we can just very, very thinly Lemon slice, lemon. yeah. Nice. You either put it in a hole and then take it out afterwards, but because you're going to make a paste, you need to chop it quite finely because it, cause it's um, quite, it's rooty. So, I mean, yeah. if you cut it too, too many pieces, the, it doesn't actually dissolve when it cooks that much. So, you need to cut through those little tendons. There you go. Put that in there as well. It's just like... We've got a nice too. little prepared lobster there. These are, these are called kaffir lime leaves. You must like these. these. Oh, yeah, you can yeah, get these yeah, dried yeah. or frozen, that. these ones. You can't actually buy them fresh sometimes. I've actually seen kaffir lime as well, the actual yep. fruit from it as well. You can get it's like a It's almost like a, a, a lemon with rustic lemon, isn't it? Yeah, really? rustic lemon. Like yeah. A, so you want a couple of bits on it. Yeah, go on. Yeah. yeah, here you go. You put some oil in. Go on. I can manage that. I can manage that. Tablespoons. Chili. No. We've got dried chilies that have soaked. I'm going to use the water to make enough. our paste. Okay, what's next? Then in goes the garlic and ginger. Just yeah. give that a little gentle, gentle stir okay. every now and then. Yeah, super. Can I claim that I made this? You can claim that you made it. It's fine. <laughs> um, right. right, lid on. We'll blend this our puree with some the root of the coriander as well. It's important to use that bit. Okay. Right, you need to get the rest of the stuff in there, don't you, Chef, before it burns? Oh, eventually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't want to blame. Be blamed no, for right. this. <laughs> and we blend that up to a paste. Right, yes, stir it round. Yes. Another thing you can do is right. this. Look, you just nudge it forward like this and go bang. Try that, try that. It's like doing your old uh, pancake things, isn't it? <laughs> this could be a disaster. Yes. There you go. There you go. I'm a quick learner. Yeah. Anything else? So we just need to let the noodles cook a little bit. Okay. The noodles aren't, you feel the noodles. These noodles, they come yeah. dry and then you soak them in warm water. Okay, yeah. Now these are just gently soaked. What is soaked. this one called? Uh, there's a rice vermicelli. Right. Um, and then the, the cooking, the little bit of moisture that's in there and the heat finishes the cooking process. Very nice. Do I need so to just, do anything in the just keep doing that stuff. Right, if I can get a word in. <laughs> Hold on, I need to help her with this. My <laughs> paste is over here. What? Then we're going to put the Tap. coconut milk in. Start to cook this down quite quickly. Oh, I'm like a bit scared. With palm sugar <laughs> and tamarind. That's gone in there as well. So this is the palm sugar. Mm -hmm. Any more? Yeah, in. you're doing good. Just keep, just keep doing well, it. Well, just every now and then. Right, it? Okay. In goes the prawns, the bean sprouts. Now, if you're doing a chicken mm. uh, Thai red curry, you would add yeah. the chicken now and then cook it out in the sauce. But because we've got the lobster and it's pre-cooked, you don't need to. Right. Smells you gorgeous. You know, like when they say if you go on death row, it would be your last yeah, meal. Yeah. This would be it. This would be it? Yeah. Would it? Uh, yeah. 
You're good at this. I'll <laughs> 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 stick to the job I do, right? <laughs> so bring this to I'm going to add some lemon. She always does. Have you nicked on my coriander? You have? Uh, no, 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 I did for you, actually. All right, OK. I'm doing, you know, I'll try to help, because uh, good. it's not all that everything now. Now, if you want to follow right, this recipe, it. it's best to follow it on <clears throat> the internet, because I ain't got a clue what's going on here. <laughs> That's what you did to my that, like my we cooking. We put that in there. This is, this is tight. Bring everything in it. I wasn't worried about you guys starting the beginning, so I said, let me try to help. Let's go in. Right. right. That's your paste. I've done that. I've added a bit of Should water I with the dry chilies. That's going in there what? to make our little bit of liquid for our paste. You could, of course, is also <laughs> don't throw away oh, these shells. Um, although I'm going to use <laughs> half of one here, but you keep the lobster shells. They make a great oil and also they make right. wonderful soup. <laughs> Mm. Right, we've got some chilli in there. It smells good anyway, guys. So that one. Well yeah. done. Thank you. <laughs> a little so bit of that in there in as well. In goes the little final sauce into this. This is the tamarind. Yeah. Mixed with the uh, palm sugar paste, soy sauce and a little bit of fish sauce. So we've got to mix that in too now. Okay. Go. Yep. So were you, were you good at sport at school, Mr. Rankin? Hey, I, I think I still hold the the, the, the record <laughs> for the for the South Antrim 80 meters hurdles. The I was the South Antrim hurdles 80 meters hurdles champion. Now you look like one of the posts that the hurdles. Well, I was a good, to, I was a, I was a good runner though. Huh? I, I was a sprinter. I was sort of 100, 200, 400 kind of thing. You know. I was I hopeless. Was. I was hopeless at it. Yeah. But after this show and all the healthy eating, James, you're going to be flying. No, I was hoping so. <laughs> huh? yeah, right. Where's... That's it, you'll come on my you show. Got my yeah. coriander. How to keep you fit. I could never understand at school why they taught you to climb up a rope. And why you can only get about three <laughs> foot. Did you have that in Italy? <laughs> oh, they had these rope hanging from the ceiling, you had to yeah. climb up it. We don't know this in Italy. All right. I first got an allergy to the gym as well. So. <laughs> Look, Kelly and I are done here, time. James. Look, are you ready we, yet? Just, yes, I'm ready. That looks... Fantastic. Well done. It looks really. great, doesn't it? Good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, job I'm proud of that. I'm proud of that. Thanks. Gold, Thanks. That, that's gold medal pad thai. <laughs> <laughs> right. And then we've got the lobster meat here, right which is got with a sauce. So this has just been name. diced. This is the lobster Next, claw meat. Just mix it. We'll it. We'll we'll it. it. The, uh, the, the meat from the tail as well, which you just wow. basically dice up. Gorgeous. Do I have the little uh, touch? Of... Yeah, go on, just add the touch on the side. Perfect. That makes all the difference. Oh, yeah, exactly. Look at that. <laughs> that is food heaven. And this is where you get to wow. dive into it. Tell us what you think. Dive into that. I hope you're not jealous. And this is the sardines <laughs> one. I know you didn't want it, but. <laughs> I did. It looked great. <laughs> I spent ages doing this recipe. Look at that. Send it to that boy that's from the, the armed forces. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the potatoes and the sardines. I just think that's wonderful. Nice little sort of homemade stock pizza yeah. you bake in there. Honestly, the oven. I mean, oh yeah. Oh gosh, I would love that every recipe. night. That's my I, I it's made not that your recipe. It's, it's gorgeous. I did it. Seriously, that is gorgeous. Well, dive in. Yeah, I'll do a we've got some wine to go with this. Now, Paul Rankin might as well say this because I haven't been able to get a word in Don't edgeways on the show. So there you go, off you go. Um, Susie has chosen the Fritz Riesling from Majestic at £8.99. A magnificent fruity little number. Wow. <laughs> and the wine's quite Fritz. good as well. <laughs> <laughs> what do you this reckon? It's delicious. Happy with that? Yeah, it's delicious. Pad thai. Yeah. So is. I'll just recap that, that sauce because you didn't actually. <laughs> so we got the the ground coriander, ground cumin, uh, the shrimp mm. paste. All gets blended. The secret is use the dry chilies and soak them, and then you utilise that, that water from the soaked chilies to make the paste. So you got shallots, ginger, garlic, uh, in yeah, there. The really coriander root, because obviously in a lot of that's right. he's not talking. Yeah, uh, we've got <laughs> coriander root, which you can percent. use in paste and all manner of stuff. So don't just just use the leaves. Use the coriander root. It's fantastic. Full of flavour as well. Right the way through to where it's actually in the ground. Um, and then you blend that together with the paste. And don't forget, we've got the Thai uh, fish sauce as well. You only need a tiny bit because it's quite salty. There's no seasoning on in there at all. You just use the Thai uh, fish sauce and the lime to garnish it as well. But I think there you go. Beautiful. Oh, go it's, it's, it's a great dish. And, and Susie has chosen a beautiful wine. Yeah. So it's a great dish. Now we've got 19 and a half days to the Olympics. 19 and a half days. 19 and a half Good days. luck to everyone. We'll be Good there. Luck. Good luck, Good everybody. Luck. Uh, well, that's all today at Static Kitchen Live. Thanks to Paul Rankin, Francesco Matze, uh, Dame yeah. Kelly Holmes, and cheers to Susie Atkins for the wine choices. Cheers. Remember, all of today's recipes are, of course, on our website. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash Saturday Kitchen. We're back at our usual time at 10 o'clock next Saturday, but don't forget our Best Bites programme at BBC Two tomorrow at 10 o'clock. Have a great weekend and enjoy the Grand Prix.
Cheers. Bye for now. <laughs> Travel tip.